Hi guys, this is David Medina from Hidden Q Studio in Puerto Rico. I just recording this series of short tutorials on uh, graphic software and designing uh, the digital matted album. I know it can be a little bit daunting when the first time you open the software and just try to design um, the DMA, but as uh, as uh, you do one or two or three of them, uh, it becomes easier. So I promise that it will be easier and very worthwhile to learn how to design the DMA because these books are fabulous. They're great. Um, so you need first thing you're going to need is you need the graphics software in order to design the DMA. It's the only way you can design them because it has so many features and details that is the only way you can actually create create them. So if you don't have it, go to the trade area, your trade area, and just download the software, install it, and then just follow along with the tutorials. Okay, we're gonna start a brand new DMA. Uh, it's, it starts like any other album you design graphic software. You can design the uh, wedding book, uh, a, the young book, any book uh, on the graphic software. So you're gonna start a new project. First thing it's gonna ask you is to name it. We're gonna call it Sample Book. You're gonna put it in the desktop just for easy finding. And uh, next thing it's gonna ask me if it, I'm designing a book, any of the books, or an image box. In this case, the book, so it states that way. And the next thing is going to ask me the format. I'm going to, in for this uh, purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, select the square. Next step is to ask me how many pages I'm going to use or think I'm going to use. You can add, delete pages inside the software, you know, so you don't have to worry about much. But uh, just put whatever you think you're going to be using. In this case, I just put 30. The language is English. And here is where you decide if you're going to uh, design a regular book or a DMA. So you select the DMA and a new set of options will come along like for example the first one is what kind of DMA are we designing uh, you can go and check on the uh, on the trade area and your uh, price list and so on what each one of these uh, in, uh, means but basically the DMA uses uh, one of the basic offset white papers the mono paper is you basically select one of the uh, color paper and you stick with it through the entire book you cannot change them and the DMA multi paper is the one that we all are raving about because you can mix and match different kind of uh, surfaces or papers within the D1 book. So I'm going to check the uh, DMA multi paper. Go next. It's going to ask me which uh, surface they're going to be working with, if uh, either a metallic or an offset white, one of the color paper. I'm going to select for our purpose digital laser. And uh, next step is going to ask me what kind of lining I want. Either the locks, which basically you select the color you want, but you don't add any name to it, or you select the locks with personalized text, which is the one I just did, so I can show you how to actually personalize it. So next is going to ask you what kind of lining you want. I'm going to ask for this. Just pick one, the silver brilliant. And you pick the one you matches your book better, and you can match it with your kind of leather you're going to use that is basically works along with. And then we're set. It's going to open uh, the uh, the software create the book for us, create the, the, uh, the file. And uh, right where you see that we're working on the lock lining here in the top, you can always go back and change this. So you're not, it's, you can change any of these settings, even the settings for the album, you can go back. And uh, if you want, you can edit the entire settings uh, of the book. But let's start with the, with the lining. So here I just gonna select the text tool, select the text and just add the name of the couple okay now I want to change uh, the font I'm gonna move this to the right so you can see the uh, the pop-up menu right here in the bottom of the options and this this option palette and the page option on the left here are the same all across uh, all the books and there's gonna be one more palette that's gonna come up in a few minutes which is specifically for the DMA and only the DMA. But these ones are for any of the books. So I'm gonna ch change the, the text and I'm gonna change the font. I just select here. I just look for one that I like, which is in this, my case, our script. And uh, I can change the color if I want to. Uh, I can change the size, the, the, the justification. I, wanna, I can make it bold, I can, I can make it uh, a, a italic. So I have different options. So when I have the font the way I want, I'm just gonna select the uh, selection tool and you see there is there is a uh, a white border here you can keep that if you want i don't like it so basically what i do is just uh, i'm gonna select it and i'm just gonna hit delete and it's gone so let's change the the text to white again select the text tool and uh, select the text 
and then come here to the uh, test text options and select white select the uh, selection tool again and you can see it changed to white okay so okay, let's leave it that way next next uh, and the next thing we need to do is to add images and the way we add images is by going to organize down here it's gonna add open to organize your pictures and you're gonna import pictures down here you have uh, either import through Photoshop or direct import it has import pictures so you can import just one image import folder so you import a folder images or you can import pictures with finished channel which is when we import images they have an alpha channels uh, so do some of the special uh, FX that we can do yeah, with the DMA so let's import a folder uh, I'm gonna go to the desktop which is where I put it. it's called sample book e e images I'm gonna select this open the folder choose and that uh, graphic software is gonna open for us I'm gonna process create the thumbnails and open for us the uh, the images so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna fast forward to the end, uh, so we can keep going with the tutorial. Okay, graphics software just finished importing the 17 images that I chose for this book, just to, just to do uh, the tutorial. So the next thing we do is okay, and it's gonna go back, and we can see the images down here. Okay, and let's go to the first page. So here in the navigation, just hit uh, to the right, and here we'll go to the uh, first page. You can see in the top. And uh, let me move the option palette back to the left. And just here you see the new palette graphics software just open is called Finish, which has to do with all the features, uh, or most of the features we're gonna be working with uh, the DMA. First thing we notice here in the top, it says metallic. This we, we can choose, pick and choose different kind of surface because we're working in the DMA, DMA multi-paper we can choose different surfaces for the left, the right page, or for the full spread by just uh, just basically picking the left, right, or double. Uh, you can see all the options we have here. For example, if you want to you you have on the left metallic paper and on the right, I want to have a blue mat, I just check the blue. And uh, graphics software tells me that on the left page, I have metallic, and on the right page, I have a blue mat. Uh, that's very important. And then you have here in the top, in the right, in the right side of the metallic, you can see you can change the different kind of, of uh, finish. In this case, metallic with matte finish or satin lamination. And here you have uh, uh, blue with matte or none, or varnish in some cases. Okay, so th that's how you change the type of surface you're working. If they say I want to change to both. Um, I just had to make him. Uh, I can have to come here, and I also can do the same thing. I can change in the left or the right. And I can change the finish. So how I can do it either in top of the each spread or each page, or I can do it over here in the right hand side on the finishes options. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, in in the in the in the finish pa in the uh, option palette, we have which is common to all uh, Graphic Studio books. We have here where it says image and shapes. Uh, this is a setting that will affect either an image or a shape or even the text. So you have to keep in mind that we can do things like, for example, the border thickness and things like that. We can change them here. Uh, the text, we already saw what they do. Here you can we can see the thumbnails. We can add spreads. We can delete spreads. We can duplicate a spread. We can move spreads up and down. And we can actually change the background color of the paper is always left or right you can change it individually uh, it's especially when you're working with of the offset white uh, papers you can you can add color to those uh, uh, paper the same thing with the metallic paper you could add, actually add color to it uh, use it as a color background so uh, another one thing I want to cover right away is to uh, how to add a translucent uh, page to the album which is very neat uh, for example you can only add them to the right side of the page so I, I can have to come here where it says blue which is the right side of right right page right side and see here it says add translucent page when I click there it will add one it has like a sort of a translucent look to it you see the blue matte behind it because he just added it before that one and you can see it has a like a vented tear uh, corner 
which is just symbolizing that you have a uh, mat. In the mat, you can either add text by just selecting the text tool here and just, just type in the text that you want, or you can actually add an image. You can just drag the image to here, and you can see that it comes uh, frosted because of you using a trans translucent paper. And uh, you can just click on the right button and you can actually make it fit to the uh, single page. And that now uh, it will print over the translucent uh, page or paper. So that's very cool. And then you can also add a text over it. Uh, let's pick the text tool. And I just click here for the text. And it says uh, Maria and Fuan. Uh, Graphic Studio, uh, Graphic Software, remember the last font we use. And then uh, we can just uh, make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 36, see how big it is. Uh, actually, more bigger would be nice. Select the uh, select, selection tool. And uh, how cool is that? So you have a translucent paper with an image plus uh, and the name, or you can have just a translucent pa page from which you can see the image on the back. So what do we do next? You go to uh, to the next page. I said you navigate back and forth. If you if you don't want to see the the uh, you want to work in the in the page that is underneath the, the translucent pa paper. The only thing you have to do is select the uh, here on the says pearl and tell them that you want to not view the translucent paper and then you can see the one in the back okay now let's talk about uh the white coverage which i mentioned here earlier uh in on the setting you can see that it says automatic white on dark board what does that mean so let's add to the right page a blue uh mat let's drag an image let's drag this one here and when I drag it, you see that you can see the image normal. It's because it's, uh, the graphics software is adding a white surface or coverage behind it. So you can see the image like it was printed on white paper. But I can turn that off. I can basically say that here with this covering color, it says white because it added uh, immediately. I can do two things. I can actually change the opacity. And I can change the translucent of that white coverage in order to allow... Uh, mix of the background mat with the image itself. Well, I can actually turn it off completely by saying none, and what it does, it creates what they call a multiply effect. The uh, the mat combines with the image to create uh, a, a very unique immediate Im image, which is multiplied, is darkened by the background. If I change here, for example, to a gold bore, see what happened. So it, it has a lot of creative possibilities at what you can do with it uh, I, that is very, very nice. One thing you, to keep in mind is that uh, uh, you can do this, uh, even take it to the, another level by using uh, a channel. Just go to Photoshop, I can extract or I can select, create a selection around the, the bride in this case. Uh, create a mask for, from that selection, save it, export the file as a TIFF, bring it into graphic software, and when I put it here, uh, what it will happen, the, the software automatically, because it identified that there is a, a channel, a TIFF with a channel, it will create a white coverage behind the bright, so you can see the bright neat, but the background will go into multiply with the uh, whatever color background or matte board you're using. That's very neat. There's another video that I did that it shows how to do that. So check it out. Uh, so the, it, this is basically what me, white coverage actually means. It creates either uh, white, a pre image over white. Uh, you can change the uh, uh, opacity uh, to, do, to do three different levels, or you can actually turn it off and just allow the multiply effect with the image and the back, the color of the matte on the background.